What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I'm gonna to be sharing my top tips to help you guys rank up faster in Black Ops 3. Let's get into it. All right guys, so these tips are in no particular order, so let's start it off with the first tip that I have, and that is keep track of your challenges. And this is actually relatively easy to do in Black Ops 3 once you get used to the menu system because it has changed quite a bit. So the nice thing about the menu system is when you go to the multiplayer challenges, it actually shows you on the summary all of your top 10 nearest completion challenges. So the challenges that you're closest to completing, it'll show those for you. So these are the ones a lot of the times you want to focus on. Not all of them, but some of them, like if you notice you're really close to a particular challenge that's relatively easy, then absolutely do what you have to do to get that challenge completed and get it off of your nearest completion list so that something else will pop up. One thing to keep in mind while going for challenges is I would focus more on the grindy sort of challenges. So like get X number of kills with an assault rifle or get X number of kills while using this perk or do whatever this many times while using this perk. Just the stuff that comes by simply playing with different items in your class setups. That's what I recommend going for. I don't recommend putting too much focus on those those kind of random challenges where the stars basically have to align for that challenge to be completed. Or you could really focus on it hard, but it would be really sacrificing your effectiveness and you'd be giving up a lot of XP just trying to go for that weird challenge. So one example of that is the Gone Fishing Challenge, which is earn five death charge medals, which is killing an enemy who is in the water with a grenade, C4, or trip mine. Yes, you could grind away at that challenge and really work hard at trying to kill those enemies underwater, and you will eventually get it done, but what are you sacrificing in the process of doing that? You're probably giving up a lot of kills you could have easily had by just playing normally, or at least relatively normally, and it's probably just going to be a waste of your time. Maybe it's something where if you just have a trip mine on your class, every now and then you, you have it in the back of your mind that you just want to throw that trip mine in the water and then forget about it. And then yeah, it will slowly work towards that challenge. Just don't focus on these challenges too much. So the next tip, which actually kind of leads off of the last tip, is variety is very important when you're trying to level up quickly because there are lots of challenges, like I mentioned earlier, that are for just using various things or playing various game modes or just getting num a certain number of kills with a certain thing. And if you're not mixing it up, you're going to complete all the challenges for the stuff that you're using, and then all of those other challenges for the other gear and perks and everything, those ones are going to go untouched, and you're just basically throwing a bunch of XP away. So what you really want to focus on here, in my opinion, is switching up your guns constantly, because every time you level up your gun and you unlock a new attachment, you earn XP from that. It's not a ton of XP every single time you unlock a new attachment, but every little bit helps. And that's the thing with these challenges and using variety is it might not look like much at first, but when you start stacking things on top of each other, like you'll get a few hundred XP from this and another few hundred from this and another few hundred from that, all from one game played, which definitely adds up quickly. So rotate your guns around, keep leveling up different guns and playing around with different guns. Uh, your perks as well. This is basically if you're just using the perk, you will be working towards challenges, even if you're not doing what the perk is intended or anything. Most of the perk challenges are just get X number of kills while this perk is on your class. So that's very important to rot rotate t through perks once you start uh, using a perk way too much and completing all of the higher level challenges for it already. Then you want to start rotating to different perks. Also, your specialist character. This is kind of surprising. Just by having the specialist character selected, even if you're not getting kills with their specialist weapon or anything, you're just getting kills with your gun while you have profit selected, for instance. You start unlocking challenges like crazy because there's challenges that actually earn a decent amount of XP that basically just says earn X number of kills as profit or as Seraph or as whichever specialist character. So even if you're not really doing too much work with the actual specialist abilities or power weapons themselves, just by having that specialist character selected, you're unlocking lots of XP through challenges. Now, just like I mentioned with the first tip, don't completely sacrifice your effectiveness for the sake of completing these challenges for variety. So for instance, I'm not very good with sniper rifles. I'm not super confident with it. Yeah, I can do okay. I can go positive and everything, but I'm going to get like half the number of kills with a sniper rifle as I'm going to get with a regular full auto gun, like any regular full auto gun. So for me, while I'm trying to level up, I'm going to stay away from sniper rifles. Sure, I'm going to mess around with them later on once I'm 
not really too worried about leveling up fast, but I'm not going to sacrifice my effectiveness. It's not worth those little challenges that you receive by using that variety that isn't very good for you, so it's not worth it for me to use the sniper rifle and try to complete the sniper rifle challenges like get hundreds of kills with a sniper rifle when I could be getting a thousand kills with a regular gun in that same time period. So I'm not going to completely sacrifice my effectiveness in the game in order to complete these variety challenges. So moving on to the next tip, this is which game mode should you play? A lot of people are wondering what is the best game mode for ranking up and earning XP? And again, variety is kind of important with game modes, but there definitely are some game modes that are far superior when it comes to earning XP. So I will talk about those game modes a little bit here. So first things first, Search and Destroy can be amazing for XP. It's one of the best game modes for XP, but only if you're good at it. So I don't recommend, if you're not very good at Search and Destroy and you only average like three kills every Search and Destroy game, it's probably not the best game mode for you to be playing because you're gonna spend most of your time spectating other people and that's just throwing XP away right there. If you're not even playing the game because you're dead and you're spectating somebody, it's not worth it. But if you're decent or just really good at Search and Destroy, this game mode is like an XP gold mine. There is tons of XP to go around in Search and Destroy, so I highly recommend playing it if you're good at it. Now, if you aren't very good at it, or you just want some variety as well, because variety is good, like I said, because you're unlocking your different challenges for your different game modes now, Domination, Hardpoint, and Safeguard are going to be, in my opinion, the best game modes to consistently get XP, like lots and lots of XP. I would stay away from Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed for me also, at least for me, I don't really seem to get too much XP per game in Kill Confirmed, so I tend to stay away from those game modes. For Team Deathmatch, I did a little bit of a calculation by playing a bunch of games, and on average I was earning about 6,000 XP uh, before challenges in every game of Team Deathmatch, and I was having good games as well, that was good games. Whereas in Domination, when I felt I had just an equally good game in Domination, I was getting like 10 to 12,000 XP per game before challenges. That's, that's before all the challenge XP that I'm gaining during those matches as well. So you can earn almost double the XP by playing these other objective game modes. Uh, Safeguard, I haven't done some really in-depth analysis on how much XP you earn, but from what I remember from the beta, there's tons of XP to go around in Safeguard, and they actually adjusted it a little bit as well. So I highly recommend playing those three game modes, Domination, Hardpoint, and Safeguard. They're going to give you some great XP. So the final tip that I have for you guys for ranking up quickly is going to seem really obvious to some, and it doesn't really have to do with the gameplay and how you're setting your classes up or anything. It's simply take advantage of double XP when you have the opportunity to. So there's going to be double XP weekends. Uh, they always have double XP weekend events. I would be willing to bet within the next month or so there's going to be a double XP weekend. You want to take advantage of that as much as possible. Get as much playtime in as you can during the double XP. Also, there's the codes that you can get from Mountain Dew, Doritos, and I believe Monster as well for double XP. Now, personally, I'm not really into this kind of stuff because I don't really like those products that much. But if you're somebody that really likes Mountain Dew or Doritos or Monster or whatever, you can get those codes, enter those codes in, and you'll get double XP for, I think, like 30 minutes at a time or an hour at a time, which really, really helps. It's amazing how fast you can level up when you have double XP active, even if it is just for half an hour. So that's all the tips that I have today for helping you rank up quickly in Black Ops 3. The big takeaway from this is variety is very important, but don't sacrifice your effectiveness and your potential XP per game in order to complete some variety challenges. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.